As you know, we've been uh, running tests uh, right now with NBC uh, throughout the Olympics uh, and Super Bowl uh, and throughout Q1, um, Q1 scatter as well. And it's been definitely very, very interesting. There's, there's, uh, there, there's uh, a, wh a whole lot of learnings and we're really upon a whole new measurement era where a lot of things are gonna change going forward because they, they, they have to, because consumers have changed and how television um, and advertisers approach things have changed. But the, the, the biggest learning so far is, is, first of all, this is really the first Olympics probably where there's just meaningful amount of streaming of the games that's happening through Peacock and, and uh, almost 20 uh, different uh, streaming uh, channels. So the first, the first learning is to capture the audience, you have to go cross screen and you have to do it uh, in, a, in a single source deduped uh, de -duped way. Uh, and then, uh, so, 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 that's, so that's the first thing, because we're seeing significant uh, audience on, on streaming. And it's interesting to also look at the households that are both streaming and consuming on linear uh, versus ones that are streaming only. So, so that's, that's the first learning. The, 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 the second big learning from the tests and learns that we're doing is really a paradigm shift in how to assess the value of advertising. Um, in the traditional world, you would come out with a program rating, right? And you would have a rating, rating points for prime time for, for let's say the Olympics, and that would sort of be the the measure but but rating advertisers aren't really buying rating points they're they're buying impact and they're buying value so we've done some interesting things uh with advertisers uh throughout the the olympics so first of all is getting them a precise measurement for audiences on their ads uh and that's second by second and that's cross screen uh, so that's so that's the first thing that's really new to this Olympics now is the advertisers are getting true cross screen ad first measurement that's delivered to them in less than 48 hours where historically they've been used to uh, getting it after, uh, after two weeks. But we're also furthermore able to quantify the value of the environment of that the ads are running it. So for example, we're each uh, for each day and each prime time and each network, we're reporting on the ad loads that are happening during the Olympics versus all other programming that are happening on TV. So, for example, the Olympics on many nights have 36% less ads than other programming that are going on concurrently. And we're also reporting on the completion rate um, of the ads. In other words, our consumers. Uh, watching the ads all the way through. So during the Olympics, we're seeing higher completion rates um, than the norm at 98.6%. So when you think about this paradigm shift now, you, you're, you, you think advertisers now know the exact delivery of audiences for their ads. They know it with speed. They understand the, the value from an ad load perspective and a clutter perspective in the, in the environment they're in. And they're also understanding the quality of the content and the relevance of their ads to the content by virtue of the completion rates. Um, so those are, those are some, of the, some of the top line learnings though. But again, just to summarize, I would say being able to measure cross screen, uh, doing an, a precise ad first measurement and then delivering results with speed. Sean, it's a very exciting time in our sector around TV measurement. Uh, what's the trajectory of iSpot? What, what can we expect from you guys over the next year and, and, and from the industry more broadly? Yeah, I, I think it's an exciting time for, for the industry. I think there's, there's just a lot of innovations happening right now. Uh, and we're moving into a whole new world now where there's probably going to be multiple companies that are providing uh, measurement and, and, and currency. And I think a lot of the, a lot of the innovations are going to come uh, around cross screen, being able to measure, measure the ads in, in, in all formats. And, and again, I think a lot of the innovations will come 
by also being able to think through the lens of an advertiser and consumer, as opposed to a purely program rating. And, and so a lot of the innovations will come around measuring uh, precise audience for the ads, understanding the value of the environment that the ads are running on it, and then speed. The speed and granularity of the data is going to continue, uh, continue to improve. Uh, and even things like out-of-home measurement, uh, I think, are, are going to see a lot of innovations that they've not seen in many, many, many years. So it's an exciting time. Obviously, big data is coming to the forefront in measurement. Uh, we particularly have leaned in heavily on smart TVs and have innovated with smart TVs for a long time. We believe the smart TV uh, is really the front line to the consumer where you can see every ad and every program, no matter how it gets onto the screen, whether it's via a set-top box or a Roku stick or an over-the-air antenna or embedded app. So lots of exciting um, innovations are ahead. I think that I think this is the most exciting uh, time uh, right now in our industry.